Hello, I'm Attila G. Horvat. Welcome to the YouTube channel of the AutoCAD Architecture Blog.com. In the previous video, I presented you how to create the chimney body from the wall object. In this video, I'll present you how to create chimney flues with the body modifier. The two flues, starting from different height of the chimney, are created that the box-shaped mass elements are placed in the chimney body and they are extracted from the chimney body by the body modifier. First, please change the massing palette on the tool palettes. Then, please click on the box tool icon on the palette. Before the insertion, you have to set the dimensions of the first rectangular body. Please set the value of the specify on screen parameter to no, the width value to 250, the depth value to 250, the height value to 9300. The 9300 mm flue height comes from that the bottom of the chimney started from the ground level will be 300 mm far down the floor level of the ground floor and the flue has to start 400 mm far from the floor level of the ground level. After returning to the drawing area Please put the first flue body to any place next to the chimney and press enter to accept the offered zero rotation value. Program prompts at once the next body insertion point, but first you have to go to the properties palette and set the dimensions of it. At the second flue all data remains unchangeable, only the height is changed to 6300 mm. This flue will start 400 mm far from the first floor level. You can put the second flue I to measure only below the first outside of the chimney body and accept zero rotation value as well. Please press enter to finish the recursive operation of the insertion mass element. From the ribbon, home tab, modify panel, please start the AutoCAD move command and snap to midpoint and move the top flue to the upper midpoint of the chimney body the lower flue to the lower midpoint, as you can see. Now you can select the upper flue mass element. After clicking in the displayed center grips, the dimension input of the flue movement display and the dimensions of vertical movement indicates with blue color that it is active. Please press once the tab button on the keyboard to make the other dimension input active, which is responsible for vertical movement. You can see that after some time it becomes blue. Now please start to drag the mass element down and then type 125 value of the movement and press enter. You can use the above method to move the lower flue up with 125 mm.
please select the upper flue and set the elevation parameter value to 700 mm on the design tab of the properties palette. Finally, you can press escape to throw away this selection. With similar method, you can set the lower flue elevation value to 4700 mm. Do not forget that since this elevation is above the cut plane, mass element may seem only in dashed display. Please select the wall of the chimney body from the ribbon, contextual wall tab, modify panel, choose the add command from the body modifier drop down list. To command prompt, you have to select the two mass elements as the body modifier, then press enter. Please notice that at the top on the displayed add body modifier panel, the brick veneer component is set as a single layer wall, anyway it cannot be other. Now please set the type of the operation to subtractive and type flues in the description. Please turn on the arrays selected objects. Finally, you can close the panel by pressing OK. As a result, the status can be seen like here. The second flue disappears because you are in the ground floor drawing and its global cut plane is set above the floor level by 1400 mm, so it does not intersect the second flue. In the next series I'll show you how to inserting objects to a new construct drawing. If you like this tutorial, make sure you subscribe for more. If you would like to create the whole project of a two-story house with sheets and annotation, please buy the ebook which guides you step by step.